Hi, this lab is going to be on moment of inertia. So first off, what is moment of inertia? It has to do with rotation, um, but let's step back a little bit and think about something we know very well, linear motion. It's governed by F equals MA. Their mass, M, actually plays the role of inertia. Inertia being a property of how hard it is to start and stop to move something. For linear motion, something fairly light here, all I need is a little push, and I can get to go. Now if I load this up with a lot more mass, with some of the densest stuff in the universe, knowledge, then suddenly you, it's pretty intuitive that it takes a much stronger push to get it to go. So rotation has a similar thing. Instead of F equals MA, you have torque is equal to I times alpha. I being the moment of inertia and alpha being the angular acceleration, of course. So let's get rid of these and think about, so here I have a fairly light wooden disc, so it doesn't take that much to get to start spinning. So this one will have a low moment of inertia. By contrast, if I have a much bigger wheel, this one is going to take me a lot more torque to get to, get to have it start to spin. So therefore, this one has a large moment of inertia. And you will notice it's not just on the mass, but it's also dependent on how the mass is distributed within this body. For some simple geometry, like a solid wooden disk, we can get a fairly nice formula that we're going to prove throughout this lab. So this is the setup for today's experiment. We've got the holder and this wooden disc. The disc is detachable because you can take it off and weigh it. All you gotta do is take this pin out, push it through everything, and the wheel should spin nice and free within the holder. Then we attach a hundred meter, sorry, a hundred gram weight onto it, making sure that it does actually hit the ground, so you get the maximum amount of data you can get. And we will also mark out where we taped it this time, so that after when we repeat the experiment, we want to tape it around different spots on the wheel to account for the non-uniformity of this one disk. To keep track of the acceleration, though, we have this lovely Vernet Smart Pulley. It's got some rubber stopper in between so that we can hold on to it and take out some of the vibrations. Make sure it goes on top of the pulley and we wind it up. So we've got it wound up and re ready to go here. Um, then we open Logger Pro, of course and we're ready to collect data. And as simple as it is, hit collect. Now wait a couple of seconds before you actually let it go because I'll help it um, do its thing. And then you let go. It runs for about 10 seconds, but all the part that we care about is the part where the mass is in free fall, where the acceleration is constant and the velocity versus time graph gives you a straight line and that's this part right here. So we'll zoom in on that up here with the plus button and we'll highlight this for a linear fit. And of course we should have it show uncertainty and the answers are blurred out because you have to get your own data obviously. So come to the lab, do this a couple times, get the numbers and hopefully your answers will work out great. Well, see you in the lab.